Tractor Man 44 here. Uh, this is my daughter's guest bathroom. This is a continuance of the other two videos I've done so far on some projects you can do with sawmill lumber. Uh, but at any rate, this is my daughter's um, guest bathroom. Uh, vanity top here, my son-in-law was kind enough to make for me, being a shop teacher. Uh, it comes natural to him. He made me a, uh, a vanity top. I actually made three of them for the house and also we have an island top. Um, all out of this uh, tractor trailer decking material. And all I had to do was, of course, install it and install the, the plumbing and all that stuff. So that was really nice of him. Uh, it, it, uh, it lessened my burden this summer whenever I was busy doing other things. However, it did kind of increase his workload because he has lots of stuff to do too. Uh, but at any rate, uh, later on in the fall, whenever things slowed down and I had more time, that's when I went and made those raised panel walnut doors I showed you in the, um, in the laundry room area. And at the same time, I knocked out uh, doors for the, for the two of the three vanities. Uh, this one here also is that one, number two. And um, he, these are drawer fronts I made out of that same walnut. Uh, massive drawer at the bottom. I think it's 42 inches wide. It's just awesome. She just absolutely loves it. Filled with bath towels and all kinds of sundries and items like that, you know, for, for, for guests. Uh, not that she entertains a lot, but uh, <laughs> I gotta, gotta have a reason to call it a guest bathroom, I guess. But at any rate, uh, these uh, walnut drawer fronts, I just used a round over bit on those and just to kind of give it something other than uh, the, the, the OG. I kind of get tired of OG uh, edges all the time uh, because they obviously are on the inside of the uh, rails and styles on the raised panel doors, but that's, that's typical. That's, that, that's the only bit I've got for that, but that's kind of typical anyway, and I did not want to use it on the outside of these, so I just went ahead and did a round over. Did the same thing in my daughter's bathroom too. But at any rate, more sawmill material over here. Uh, I've built several of these right here i uh, got several in my own house, but uh, this is um, a towel rack. It's about 20, 21 inches wide, if I remember right. And I just used that uh, five inch diameter uh, uh, bit, raised panel bit that I used for building the uh, raised panel doors. Uh, and then just kind of bring it down. You can bring it all the way down to zero, or you can bring it down to leave a quarter inch or whatever. And it just makes a real nice hat rack, coat rack, towel rack, whatever kind of rack you want to call it. And a uh, couple of screws nailed up on the wall. Uh, a lot of times I'll countersink those screw heads and cut me a uh, dowel out of the same material wood and uh, slide that dowel in there on top of those screw heads. But uh, it's like, yeah, I didn't do it on this particular one. I may, if she complains about it in the future, I may do that. But at any rate, uh, just a couple more projects that you can do with uh, sawmill lumber. A little bit of sandpaper or a couple of other tools and you can end up with some pretty cool stuff. Like I said, professional... Uh, professional woodworkers or professional cannon makers that probably look at some of the hack jobs that I do and think, good Lord, what the heck is this guy doing? But it uh, doesn't matter to somebody like myself that don't know any better and to uh, most of the people I kind of show it to, they don't know any better either. So uh, they're kind of impressed. And uh, I don't know that that's necessarily a, a warranted response, but at um, but, uh, any rate, that's what it is. So this is Tractor Man 44. I'm done a bragging for the day. See you later.